You are welcome to another video of the course Network Automation and Service Orchestration using Cisco NSO. In this section, we are going to talk about the most important topic of Cisco NSO orchestration through creating service template, which gives the capability to enable a service across devices with different device types without giving any commands and with just specifying the parameters of the service. What is a service template and what are the benefits of the service template? To understand it better, let's go through an example. Suppose we want to configure OSPF over the network with different device types, including iOS, iOS XR, and Jonas devices. As you can see, the configuration syntax is different for each device type. Here, OSPF is configured differently for different device types in the top of the image. The advantage of configuring a service template is that the configurations and data models for different device types are configured behind the scenes and in advance. And at the time of service instance creation, you just give the name of the device or devices which the service is to be applied and only configuration data which is required to configure the service. In our example, OSPF process ID, area ID and interfaces to be applied in the area are the configuration data that needs to be specified for each device without noticing how it is actually configured in the background. In other words, we prepare beforehand the configuration template for each device type with variables instead of configuration data. We also prepare a data model that specifies which variable have which data types and whether they are mandatory or optional for this service. All configurations are applied behind the scenes based on the configuration template and data given at the service creation time. In summary, to prepare a service template, we need to prepare at least two components, configuration template in the format of XML and Yang data model. The configuration template may include the configuration template of different device types participating in the service. We use variables instead of configuration data in the configuration template. Yang data model specifies the format of each variable used in the configuration template. To create a service template, we start by creating service skeleton using NCS make package command in the package folder in NSO instance folder. First, we go to the packages folder. Exit, paste, and then running NCS make package service skeleton for the template with the name of loopback service. We create a service with the name of loopback service to create loopback interfaces in iOS devices. It is a very simple service template taken from Cisco documents just to show you the components that we need to create a service template. You can then check the structure of the service skeleton using ls command. A new folder is created with the name of the service template here loopback service. Inside the folder loopback service there are two important folders, the folder templates where you can keep the configuration template for different device types and the folder source and then Yang where you keep the data model and in a few minutes we will learn how to create them. In the ls loopback service and then source and in the Yang and also in the templates 
folder there is a default configuration template file inside the template folder as you can see there is already an xml file with the name of service template loopback service template and then loopback service template xml if you look at the xml file you will see the section between config and slash config tags configuration template for different device types are added between these tags there is also a section between device and devices tag here you can add the list of devices to which the configuration template need to be applied however we usually leave it untouched since we specify the list of devices at the time of service instance creation if you look at inside source and then yang and then default yang data model with the name of the service and then dot yang you will see a variable with the name of a service and with the type of list loopback service with the type of list which means that you can create many instances of the same service loopback service under the service template variable there is a leaf name variable of the type of a string which is also a key variable this means that each service template instance must have a unique name leaf means a single end entity the name of the service must be given at the time of service instance creation there is another variable leaf list device with the type of leaf ref or leaf reference with a reference to the pass in which in this pass the details of the type leaf reference is defined the leaf list means a list of end entities and here means the list of devices that you give at the time of service instance creation to apply the service on these devices these two variables are always in yang data model but other variable in the yang data model are what you have already defined in the configuration template here a leaf dummy variable with the type of inet ip version 4 address is already created but you can add your interesting variable or variables based on your configuration template now it is the time that we create our configuration template and data model in the first service template as you know our service template is just to create loopback interface in ios devices it is very easy but a good start just to show you how we create service configuration template and yang data model we start with the configuration template configuration template must be in the format of xml to prepare the configuration template it is enough that we configure a loopback interface in a sample ios device and then get the xml version of the configuration then we add the configuration in xml format between config tags inside default configuration template let's try it together first connect to the nso and then devices device and then r1 and then config and interface loopback 150 or first we go to the rotor r1 configuration and then interface loopback 150 probably l is and then ip address 1111 
255 or slash 32 as the subnet mask and then top and then show configuration is the configuration that uh, will be add in device R1 but we are not going to add the configuration in the device R1 we want just to get the XML version of the configuration to add in the default configuration template so commit dry run out format and then XML and the configuration section between config tags here in iOS devices you can get the configuration from different device types you can do the same configuration for iOS XR for Junos and uh, you will see the XML format of the configuration for different device types you will copy the configuration now we are allowed to revert the configuration and go again to the loopback service template and then templates folders and default configuration template and here between config tags and then we copy the XML format of the configuration in our example we can replace the loopback interface number the IP address of the loopback interface and also subnet mask with variables in configuration template but again just to simplify the process for our first example we ignore loopback interface number and also subnet mask and only replace the IP address with a variable with the name of IP underline address inside the configuration template slash IP underline address therefore for Yang data model we need only one variable with the name of IP address which can be used instead of dummy variable in the default Yang data model the type of this variable is also IP before address let's copy the name of the variable and then save the changes and we go to the source and then yang and default yang data model and we will replace the dummy variable with our new variable which is IP address and the type is IP before INET IP before address and then we save the new loopback service template is ready now we have to compile and add the new service template in Cisco NSO we go inside the packages and then inside the loopback service and then inside the source folder and with the command make command we compile and add the new service template in Cisco NSO if there is any error in the service template you will be noticed in this step and when you give make command if it is successful you can enter NSO CLI environment and reload packages with the command packages reload and force command therefore the new service template will be added in the list of packages it takes times so I will pause the video and we will continue when the, the packages are reloaded The packages are reloaded and the new service template loopback service are also added in the list of packages. We can check with show packages and then package and then package version. You see loopback service is a new service 
in the list of packages in Cisco NSO. Now you have the name of service template as a new command in the list of commands in Cisco NSO with the name of loopback service. With this command, you can create a new instance of the service with specifying the name of the service, for example, LP service one device or devices in which the service must be applied for example device and then r1 and the configuration data which only we only have one variable ip address and ip address of 111 before that we check in the rotor r1 to make sure that there is no loopback interface with uh, 150 and with the IP address of 1111 there is no loopback interface here and then we create the instance and top show configuration a service template with the name of LP service 1 in device R1 is created with just one parameter IP address and the value of the parameter is 111 and then we commit if it is successful then we check again in rotor R1 you see that loopback 150 is added into the rotor R1 you are allowed to undeploy or redeploy service instance with just undeploy command or redeploy command. After giving undeploy command and applying the changes, again we check the rotor R1. You see there is no loopback interface 150 anymore in the rotor R1 and again we redeploy without giving the parameters into the command because the parameters of the service instance loopback service 1 is already given and again if, if we check in the rotor R1 you see that the loopback interface 150 is again added into the rotor R1. This is the first simple service template that we have created in Cisco NSO with just one device start with a simple configuration commands but the structure of the service template are cleared in this section.